Last time. Call me Sheagorath. Feel free to keep the Wabajack. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. This is some unusual foliage. Tell me where you got the ore for that armor and hammer. There was a ton of madness ore in those tunnels. But I grabbed the sword of Jigalag from the pedestal. And later, when I got out of the Imperial prison, it was in the Bruma treasury. But it came back to me even before I raided it. Here's the sword you requested. But I do have a theory. This Thorin guy was certifiably crazy, it seems. Who do you think he worshipped? Probably Sheogarath. And he probably went to New Sheoth when he died. We should investigate! Hell yeah. Oh, wow. Is that the gold chick? My name is Sada, of the Orioles. So do you need our help? I ask that you travel with me to the asylum, stop Thorin, and restore peace to the Isles, before the exiles manage to reach your realm. You in, Sirk? Let's do this. Welcome, you mortal, to the Shivering Isles. This is the Asylum, at the far reaches of the Isles, beyond the walls of the Fringe. Here, the Prince of Madness imprisons those who have opposed or defied him. Escape is... was... impossible. Until Thorin rallied the Exiles, that is. Our guards were destroyed. The Asylum fell into chaos. When the Mad God left the realm to visit Pelagius, the Isles stretched out their roots to find him, creating a pathway to your solitude. Now he has returned, but the root remains agitated. Something is disrupting it, and I believe Thorin is behind it. We should speak to Dylora, my colleague. In her wisdom, she is elected to guard the impenetrable walls that separate the Asylum from the Fringe, rather than the open passage to your realm. Welcome to the Realm of the Mad God. This is pretty much the coolest way anybody has used CC and made it into something good. Also, several of the random weapons that appear in random places in Skyrim can be added as part of the installation process of this, so they appear here. There! The Oriole A fight! Take Since Dylora has allowed her position to be overrun, the Mad God should not have trusted this task to her. This will make our fight more difficult. Think she's dead? I doubt it. They would have left her body for all to see. She is commander of the Dark Seducers. Even as a simpering Mazkin, she would be difficult prey for mortals. No. If she has not willingly abandoned her post, then she has been taken. Thorin will likely have darker purposes for her. That sounds pretty sinister. Where would she be? Their tracks point towards Stopgap, an abandoned village along the coast. The Exiles use it as an encampment. There is an Exile chief who dwells there. I ask you to slay him and discover what they plan for Dylora. I do not know what they hope to gain from holding her, but I will not allow Thorin's schemes to further weaken our position. I shall keep watch over the doors, the crossroads, and the route. Return successfully, or not at all. So are you the last Golden Saint? In the asylum? Yes. My company was overwhelmed. There are more outside this prison. The Orioles are stretched too thin to send us reinforcements, however. The asylum was not the only area affected by my lord's long absence, merely the hardest hit. So your company is dead? Certainly not. Only mortals die when they are slain. The Orioles are not so limited. But it will take time for my slain kin to reform from their creatia. We cannot rely on them now. They're like D&D fiends. Let's hop to. The dragons ain't gonna slay themselves. Thanks once again, Ring of the Tides. Looks like circuits charging the front gate while I'm picking them off from behind. 
It's a good strategy. Because they're focusing on him. To be honest, not even planned. Get smashed on rocks and die a second time. Eh, these guys are actually legitimately pretty tough though. I wish I had kept footage of Circuit doing this. Because of what's coming up later, I actually did do this twice, one on each of them. And I did storm the front gate. Oh well, can't win them all. Nice distraction, bud. Yeah, well, when I'm grouped up with you, I know what my role should be. This dude is smart. He's playing these data well. Also, I like how it says eat these orders, but he definitely didn't. And we are why he wanted that to happen. Hoping for Stardo. Why are you here? What do you want with Dylora? Don't you see? She is part of this great and terrible puzzle. But I don't expect you to understand. To you, my purposes are far more mundane. I thought to lure Stardo here and crush two beetles with one stone, ridding myself of these meddlesome turnkeys. But it seems she sent you to do her dirty work instead. How typical. Ah, oh, no matter. After I kill you, she will have no one left to hide behind. You'll never make it out of here, Thorin. You really don't understand, do you? I don't want to get out. I want to get in. Step forward then, outsider. The crystals will so beautifully reflect your blood. It's my fault you're here. I'm gonna put you back in the asylum. Enough of this. The Isles will be your grave. Here, have a potion. You really need to add some magic resist. Thanks. Save my ass. Thank you, stranger. I'm not sure how much longer I had before Thoron finished with me. I don't want to think about that. Dylora, I presume. I'm Destana, the burly fellow with Circuit. Well met. Yes, I am Dylora of the Mazkin, Sheagorath's most faithful servants. It seems we've met at a difficult time. Are you all right? I'll be fine. It takes more than a few spells to slay a Mazkin. Learn anything about Thoron's plan? A little, but only scraps. I can share what I know after we've left this place. I can't help but feel like these crystals are listening. Dylora, 
You should hey, not have allowed yourself to catch it. it's the plane topping horse. Good to see you too, Starter. Perhaps if you'd stayed with me instead of scurrying down a tunnel to a realm the Exiles have no interest in, I wouldn't have been. I told you I was going to find aid. I have found it. Besides, you look fine. Tell me, how does Thorin and the Exiles plot fare? Have you learned anything new? His rambling gave me some sense of his plan. He intends to take control of the route and use it to break through the walls. Impossible. Only the Mad God... It's possible, Starda. The root is the Isles, and the Isles are the Mad God. That's what he said. It's madness to try, but that's what he's counting on. He's wielding the Sword of Jigalag, and he's uncovered an obelisk of order. He's made himself a lair deep within the root, hidden under the falls. The perfect place to carry out his plan. Then we must travel there at once and slay him before he escapes. If it were that simple, I'd do it myself. He's constructed an amber barrier to seal off the entrance. There's no way inside. Not unless we carve one out ourselves. In order to break through Thorin's barrier, we will need a powerful weapon tied to the Isles. Nothing else is strong enough to shatter pure amber. Where could we find a weapon like that? One such artifact, the Hammer Nerve Shatter, was sealed away in the ruins of Borogov long ago. Search the ruins, destroy any exiles you see, and bring it to us. It should prove strong enough, in even your mortal hands. What else can we do? Dylora may have learned more of Thorin's plans than she would deign to share with me. You should speak to her. So how do we weaken Thoran's forces? The Exiles are a collection of two different groups. The Priests of Order and the Apostles of Light. Thoron keeps them in line. It's a very fragile alliance. They spent centuries here fighting each other. There is no love lost between them. If you were to make it look like the Priests and Apostles betrayed each other, it might break their truce. Thoron would lose his little army to infighting. Both groups have been working on ways to build up their strength. If we sabotage those efforts and frame the other group, it might drive them apart. Steal a soul tomato from the Apostles' Grove on the coast, and void essence from the Priest's Laboratory in Stopgap. Burn down the Laboratory and the Grove, and leave each item at the other group's location to make it look like sabotage. The hell is a soul tomato? Is that for making... Soul food? <laughs> the apostles grow them. Quite ingenious, though depraved. They've taken the necromantic bindings that tie souls to soul gems and altered them to bind the soul to a plant instead of a crystal. Through this process, they can grow a limitless supply of soul vessels for their enchantments. Though they still rot, unlike gems, which has stopped soul tomatoes from widespread use by the comparatively sane. And then soul fruits or soul vegetables? This is no laughing matter, mortal. Pray your soul does not end up inside one. Good luck, outsider. We must hope this will weaken Thoron's plans. I'm thinking I'll get nerve shatter, and you can handle the subterfuge. My thoughts exactly. Now to steal everything not nailed down. Looks like they're dissecting them and trying to figure out more about them, I guess. Follow up the cool crime of robbery with, uh... Oh, guess I need to come back. Subterfuge. Are saying subterfuge and sneak attack just like saying parkour? I'm running so I don't have to engage with these jerks again. 
I went back and did the framing. I forgot to record it, though. Just what is the Sword of Jigalag? The Sword of Jigalag was once the personal blade of the Prince of Order. After he was defeated at the end of the last Grey March, Lord Sheagorath disposed of it. I do not know how it ended up in Thoron's hands. Well, I did originally get it from him. Who is Jigalag? Jigalag is the Daedric Prince of Order and the sworn enemy of my lord. In the past, he would attack and destroy the Isles at the end of every era. We called this assault the Grey March. The cycle was broken over 200 years ago, but the legacy of Jigalag still hangs over the Isles. You said there was an obelisk of order in Glimmering Hollow. Yes, the obelisks are relics of the Grey March, deeply tied to the Prince of Order. Thankfully, Thoron doesn't seem to have managed to activate it. If he managed that, the consequences would have been severe. He gets to level up too. As if I need more stamina. That is one of the best perks in the two-handed tree. For once, Circuit's actually getting the stealth music. Yeah, so much for stealth. You'll never stop Thoron. For the prophet, here. Damn, these guys have it all: magic, archery, perception, dots. They even use Elemental Bolt, which is rare. Spit is really doing me in this time. Okay, cool, thanks. Jeez, they also have healing. How many kill cams can I possibly get without anybody dying? Finally. Those guys must have been the best of the best of these exiles. You'll never stop Thoron. Kill the outside. Well, that was a pain. Ooh, look at this bow that I forgot I picked up. That time I remembered I had racial ability. Well, it's hammer time. These two guys slowly swinging their hammers.
now that's what I'm talking about. Swing speed is definitely faster than what he's got. And the damage is the same. Those guys will be at each other's throats in no time. How'd yours go? Got it. And you know what? I'm keeping this one. You have done better than expected, mortal. Now we can make our assault on Thorin's lair. Let me know when you're ready to face him and stop the exile plot once and for all. Damn, nice artifact. Your gear is definitely starting to outstrip mine. Wanna have a little nap before we go back to the field? Getting kinda late. That sounds great. I don't know if Daedra sleep, but I definitely do. I just had a thought. New Shayoth has the same sky as Nern, looking out into the blackness of oblivion at night. Still, beautiful when tinged with the colors of Aetherius. Mortal. Something I hadn't thought about. Could we break the amber barrier with the Wabajack? Might turn it into a sweet roll, but- The Wabajack is rather unpredictable. I would suggest a more reliable weapon. If you prove foolish enough to insist, remember that I warned you. You really don't like mortals much, do you? I am an Oriole. My people have served Lord Sheogorath for years uncountable, and I am the greatest among them. You mortals live such fleeting lives, and can hold so little of my lord's attention. You dance to his whims for a moment, and then the moment passes. So I ask you this. What is there to respect? All right, no time like the present. Then let us be off. Dylora and I will be with you. Thorin cannot hope to stand against us all. Thanks, Ring. It's shallow, but I can still flex on some Daedra. I know this is kind of a strange place to stop, but don't worry. The next one will be done in the next day or two. Thanks very much for watching.